Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I can try to fix it a little better here. I think that's a little better. My light on. Yeah, okay. So I decided when I was going looking for this snowflake obsidian that I had, these popped up into my range of vision. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, these are the, the hardest beads I've ever tried to match up. Because they're like a sidewalk cement color. They're, they're Dalmatian Jasper. But the color is like a sidewalk cement. And these, the splotches, I believe, are like a really dark indigo or a dark navy. Because they're not quite black. I don't know. Depends on the light, maybe. Sometimes they look black, sometimes they look blue. Or maybe it's the outsides that look blue. But whatever. So these are like the hardest things for me to work with. So these are freshwater pearls. Maybe those will work. I don't know. I was thinking navy. I just don't know. Isn't that terrible? So to make matters even worse, <laughs> I took my nighttime pills this morning instead of my daytime pills. Those work. So where are these from? Probably dollarbead.com. These, this one came off of that. Yeah. These are from, I think, I think Bead Galleries Michaels. Or is it Bead Landing? I don't know. It's been a while since I've been to any bead stores. It's been a while since I've been bead shopping. So, let's see. I figured I would use these spacers. Went through my stash from the 90s. <sighs> yeah, because things happen. Life gets in the way. So these were from eBay. It's all by the price there from eBay. I'll try to mix them into the mix. I don't have any bead caps that I'm like thrilled with to mix them with. Right, let's take you out of the way. Keep going back to the blue for some reason. Although I do like these. I'm going to go with the freshwater pearls. Put these away. So these I got a while back from uh, Beadbox Bargains, and this is their number. I figured it might be safe because I don't think anybody else is playing with it right now. That might work. Alright. see here what we can pull together I realized I took my I think I took my morning pills but then I have those little pill containers you know and at night I take my nighttime pills and then I take Melatonin to help me sleep, which sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> For 
whatever reason, this morning I took the melatonin. So today should be interesting. I realized about halfway through them dissolving that what I was taking. So it should be an interesting day to say the least. Let's see here. I think I can make all this work together. I don't think that the seed beads are going to happen. I don't know about those. These are from eBay too. Uh, a while back. I haven't been shopping from e on eBay in a long time. A long time. Since like... 2010-ish. Let's see. What if we did that and one of these I want to put these in there. Kind of like it that way. So, do I have enough of these freshwater pearls? Yeah, I think so. Maybe I can do this. With you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. That one with a nice sheen on it. There we go. So these bicones, I think, are probably from Beadbox Bargains. Yeah, I could tell by the label. that will do, but do I want to make a drop for it, or do I want to just make a plain old necklace? I think I'll make a plain old necklace. Yeah. Use it up. Wear it out, make it do, or do without. Yesterday, I made up a whole bunch of, uh... Gilding wax. It's quasi-gilding wax, anyway. Um... Man, I'll tell you, the fumes definitely got to me. <laughs> I got high off of them. Yeah, I think this will work. It's so weird. It's like a... Maybe it's a really dark indigo. It's hard to match up, though. It's not really black. I mean, I could put these into the mix, maybe, but I don't really want to fancy it up that much. 
I want just something to wear with jeans. And this is a personal challenge of mine to use these because they've been sitting there for uh, maybe two years. I don't know. Maybe longer. <laughs> I still have findings and semi-precious gemstones from the 90s, so... You know. Although these are from Beadbox Bargains, I believe, so... They have to be relatively new. Let's say like... A Maybe three years. Within the three years, man. Five years. I don't know. Lost track. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what will I use? I don't think I really need medium for these. Maybe. Pearls and beads, that's that one. They both the same. Yeah, maybe a little bit lighter. This cat sent me this stuff. I think I could get away with using these. They're not really heavy beads, so I'll try that. See? Building wax. I had Pearl X from 20 years ago. I bought it, and then very shortly after I bought it, I uh, had to move, and I moved into a much, much smaller apartment. So, Everything went into storage, and then after that apartment, I moved here, so it went from one storage unit to another, because when I moved in here, I moved in downstairs, but I knew uh, I wasn't planning on being here because I was engaged at the time, so I was planning on moving, so I figured why move all this stuff in, and that didn't work out, and then I was stuck here without a car, I couldn't get to the storage unit. <laughs> yeah, it's been one heck of a road, I'll tell you. One heck of a road. There you go. I know. I, is that it right there? There we go. So I think this will be okay. Because it's they're light. They're not heavy beads, so... And that's the Griffin stainless steel. Oh, it's from Germany since 1866. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right, so where was I? Yeah, this is definitely a challenge for me to work with, but I think this will definitely work. So I'll string it. Oh, I have to look for a clasp, too. I think I'll use those ones I had out yesterday. Or whatever day it was. Right here. Cool. So I'll string this up, and I'll be back. Okay, so these are bead galleries. So they're either... Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I think these are Michael's. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, these are like a, a charcoal gray color. They're potato pearls, seven by eight. 
I don't know if they still have them distributed by Howlcraft USA. I don't know where. They, I have no idea. So that's those. The Dalmatian Jasper are six millimeter. These are four millimeter spacer beads that I probably got on eBay a long time ago. I'm sure you can find them though. Um. And these are six millimeter gray blue faceted rounds from Dollar Bead Box. Don't know if they still that not Dollar Bead Box, sorry, DollarBead.com. Don't know if they still have them. Haven't been shopping in a long, long, long time. Yes, I think it'll work. All right, I'll be back when it's done. Maybe the potato pearls are from Joann's. I honestly don't know. It's been such a long time since I've been shopping for any beads. Um, yeah, I think the last beads... I don't know. I don't do bead hauls in it, so I don't remember what beads I got last. <laughs> the only beads I've been showing you is what Kath has been sending me. And I'm not selling anything anywhere. I don't have an Etsy account. I don't have... Well, I do have an Etsy store, but I haven't... I haven't even looked at it for years. Uh, I think last year I went in there and took stuff out of it and just kind of left it. Um, let's see. Uh, these guys. So like I said, this is my use it or lose it year. I'm on a mission. I have a ton of beads that I need to use. I have a ton of paper that I need to use. Oh, so anyway, this stuff sat in storage for years. Just because I couldn't get there, I didn't have a car. No way to get there, no way to transport it, so I finally was able to get stuff here. So now it's use it or lose it time. It's senseless to pay f to keep it in storage. And since I'm not making any profit from it, it's even more senseless to keep it in storage. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see, how long are you? 15, huh? I'll be back when I get to the 18 lengths. <laughs> okay, so we're at 17. By the time I get the clasp on, it'll be 17 and a half. And that's good enough. I, uh... Maybe I'll throw a couple of black seed beads on just to hide my tail. Those are 11 -0. You're 11 -0 or 8 -0. Okay. And since it'll be in the back, nobody's going to see it anyway. You know? Or I could alternate these guys. Nah, I'll just do a couple seed beads. So, let's see. Can I go grab the crimp tubes? Yeah. 
I have so many things going on on this craft table. Like I said, I pulled the Prolex out, and I'll tell you what, I bought, had bought pigment powders recently, and they do not compare with the Prolex at all. Now, my Prolex is from 20 years ago. I have an assortment of colors. So, I don't know if Prolex is even still in business because it's something I didn't even look for <laughs> in recent years. Let's take out four. Then this is good enough. Doesn't have to match the uh, things person perfectly. So these are from Beadbox Bargains as well. I'm pretty sure the crystals are from yeah. These are from Beadbox Bargains. These spacer beads you can find anywhere. I'm sure Walmart even has them. Um, yeah. Probably should be using a one, size one for this. Oh, well, I'll try the size two. Some of that. I'll try them first. And if they don't work, then I'll go to the size one. Should work. Oh, oh no. Or maybe. Use my flush cutters to cut the rest off. These are weird. These are acting weird lately. Yep, got a ton of washi tape I need to use. Stamps I need to use. Ink I need to use. Gel pens that are probably going to get tossed that I invested probably a hundred bucks in, but since they were in storage, they never got used, and I'm sure they're dried up, so. I don't know how to re reconstitute them, if it's even possible. So. Tired of losing money. I have thousands of dollars invested in beads. No lie, thousands. <laughs> Between... Back in the late 80s, early 90s, to back in the early 2000s, to back in the 2010 area, and then recently, although I haven't purchased anything recently other than beadbox, or bargain beadbox, not even beadbox bargains. Yep. Thousands of dollars, and you know what? I haven't made a penny from it, except back when we were doing craft shows. And that was back in the 90s, 80s, late 80s, early 90s. I don't know if that's tight enough, I hope so. Find out. Not as far down as I'd like it, but... Oh, there we 
So. And that's the necklace. Nice and plain and simple. On to the bracelet. I'll be back. I figured since I had the bag open, I would show you the number of these. Yeah, these are definitely from dollarbead.com. Bought them a number of years ago, so I don't know if they still have them. But, uh... That is their number. I know their prices went up a little bit. Can you focus, please? It's F-P-L-S-H. There we go. <laughs> and yes, that's what I paid for the strand. 50 cents. Alright, back to the bracelet. I'll be back. So I just did the same pattern. I made this part, this section, the middle part, again. And I'm at six and... Like slightly over a quarter, six and a quarter. So it should work. Although, never know. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's gonna be an interesting day. <laughs> I'm going to be in a melatonin fog. <laughs> I'm telling you. So again, it's your basic five bead pattern. It's just using, oopsie, different beads. It's, say there's five, and then you could either, and you could count that as five, or like I say, you can use that as your divider, and it's still five, no matter what, it's still five. So. I forgot I had that, uh. Washi tape on for a second. Let's make sure you're going to fit. Mm hmm. Doesn't look that way. And that's because we are now at six and a quarter. Must have been reading wrong. So, I guess I put another section of that on. Ah, bummer. I'll be back after we make it. I'm just going to add another section of this part on. I want the faceted rounds and the... Uh, Dalmatian Jasper on each end, so I had to take it off because. And I did I take off an extra seed bead? I think I did. That's alright. So I'm gonna restring this with these on. That should work. Should make it long enough, I hope. And I hope it doesn't make it too long, because then that's a problem as well. Then I have to take it out again. <laughs> I'll be back. Nope. That ain't going to work either. That's making it too long. So, I think what I'll do is take that last bead out. This is how it goes. Real life, you don't always get it 
right the first time. Sometimes you have to take things out. Like necklaces are okay. You could always lengthen them. Or shorten them. But with a bracelet, when you need to make a certain size, it's hard to get the pattern down right. When you're stringing like this. Like with a pattern, you know. If you don't have a pattern, you could just throw anything on. And you're to be alright, but... Sometimes it just don't want to work out. So... I think I'm just going to cut those last two beads off. Last one bead off, rather. Well, one bead on each side. <laughs> And hope that's enough. Because if not, I'm going to take it out again. I'll be back. Well, that should work. What did I do? Now it's at 28. What the heck is going on? Oh. <laughs> nope, I'm going to have to take one more bead out. Son of a gun. No, that's at 27. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to take another beat out. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, yes. Much better. So now what are we going to do for earrings? Let's see. We can do... Something like that. That might work. Or just the crystal and the potato pearl. Hmm. Maybe I'll do little danglies. A couple danglies. <sighs> so I don't know what color these bicones are. I just have that number. And silver head pins sitting here. Gonna have to get up and get. Oh, wait, I'm gonna check you first. <laughs> no. Alright, uh. Since this is more like a stainless steel, I should probably use stainless head pins to match it. Do I have them here? Nope, I believe I put them away. I'll be back. Okay, so I think I'm going to use these head pins. And these are from Beadbox Bargains. I might make two. Maybe three. Let's see. I'll take another two out just in case I decide to make three. These are silver. Alright, so this is their number. I'm thinking... And 
Huh. What do we do for the other one? You know, I kind of like the way that looks by itself, but I need something up on the top there. Maybe I'll do this this way and throw a uh, I'm not really feeling that either. Maybe just the bicones and the Dalmatian. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm using these ear wires. Don't have a number for them though. Sorry. I don't think I got them from uh, Beadbox Bargains. So, <clears throat> might make two of these, maybe. Don't really know yet. I heard it a little shorter than this, though. Than this, this one. Because um, this doesn't really need to be wire wrapped. These are pretty strong, but I'm here, so Sorry, this is a long one again. Seems to be the I way mean, it is with me lately. That's one. Oops, get back here, you.
do like I do like that by itself. But I want to get the Dalmatian in there as well. Dalmatian Jasper. I don't normally watch any about any unboxings anymore because I like to be surprised. I never did really watch the unboxings. Once I started getting the bead boxes, I never watched the unboxings because I like to be surprised. So in this month's box yet. Won't get mine till about the 10th, around there. Thereabouts, I don't usually get it early, so I don't know. All right. And then, I just make what I can with it. And... <laughs> stick the rest back in the, the little set, uh, what do you call it, pouch that it comes in. And they sit. three minutes already so this will take three hours to upload and at least three hours to upload and it is now 11 38 a.m. on Thursday January 5th morning <laughs> so like I said, I don't know what's coming in this box. I sure the heck hope it isn't Dalmatian Jasper. freshwater pearls <laughs> potato pearls it's pretty much a given with the bicone so I'm sure there'll be spacer beads as well well maybe not sometimes there are sometimes there aren't I think what I'm going to do Put them on jump rings. So, like I said, it's a basic five bead pattern. 
with your largest bead in the center. It's nothing special. Just depends on what beads you choose oops, to use. That one's being fussy right now. I'll fix it off video. So now, because I put these on a jump ring, I'm going to see which way they're laying. So I know to do the opposite on the other side. So that's the way I like to make my earrings. so that they mirror each other. Been doing that since 1988 or so. They're about. <laughs> All right. Let me get this mess cleaned up so you can see what it looks like better. I'll be back. Okay. So it is now 11.46 a.m. on Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Like I said, this will take about a good three hours to upload, maybe even four. So you won't see it till this afternoon. And I sure hope that Beadbox bar Bargain Beadbox does not have potato pearls and Dalmatian in it. I don't get my uh, bag till like the 10th, so, so that's why you see the gap in between, because I don't get mine early. So this is the Dalmatian. I, like I said, I don't know if they still have it. I bought this quite some time ago, but they're six millimeter. Um, these, these are the head pins. These are the toggle clasps. These are from probably eBay, but they might have them at Beadbox Bargains. You never know. These are the crystals. And these are from Dollar Bead. And I gave you that number before. DollarBead.com These I bought, I'm going to say like three years ago. The potato pearls. Like I said, I think they came from Joann's or Michael's or someplace. Or maybe even Hobby Lobby, but the, it's Bead Gallery. So whoever carries Bead Gallery, that's where they came from. Um, I'm sure you could find them online, though. Yeah, what else? That's it, right? Got everything? The ear wires I had, they're not from Bead Box Bargains. But you can use any ear wires. They don't have to be the ones I use. If you decide to make it. Because I really don't mind if people make what I make. As a matter of fact, I quite enjoy that they like it so much that they do make it. But here's the thing. I don't copy anybody's work. I don't care if people copy mine. I don't copy anybody's work. I don't have sell it anywhere. I don't have an Etsy shop. Like I said, I have it, but I haven't been on Etsy in over a year. So I have no idea what's... I don't even shop on Etsy. Um, I don't have, oh, well, I still have my eBay account, but I don't sell anything on there either. I'm not selling anything anywhere. So I'm just making these so that people can, especially beginning beaters that don't know how to make jewelry. So like I said, this is five beads, right? It's a basic five bead pattern. So it's just a matter of the position you put your beads in and what beads you use. It's nothing really special. It's just the beads that you use that make it look so different. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this is a forever long video. It might take four hours to upload for all I know. 
But thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.